Hi there. So today we're going to take a look at a, a very cool workflow using the, the Scality um, Zenko product uh, in regards to AI. And we'll, we'll take a look at uh, tagging some images and doing some uh, recognition of you know, some sort of images. So teach an application on how uh, to recognize images uh, using the Zenko S3 storage at the, at the backend. Um, so in order to do that, uh, Zenko uh, met a, um, an application, a company called Machinebox, a uh, few few weeks ago, uh, which has they, they have very very cool um, AI applications that run in a Docker container, and it's very 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 easy to launch it uh, in a terminal in a matter of a, of, a, of one command. So they have different things. They have applications to do face recognition, classification of images, indexing the content of a video image tagging, uh, um, recogn uh, recognizing some, some nudity typically into, you know, into videos because you want to be, you want to be able to classify those. Plenty of very, very cool stuff. Uh, we're going to use in that, uh, in that demo today, uh, the one that's called Tagbox, where you can, um, you know, you have the application which is going to recognize a few different things into an image, that it's a plant, some food and things like that. And you're going to be able to manually tag those images as well. So what is the workflow like? So here are three examples of images. The application is going to be able to quickly tell you it's you know architecture. It, it, you know it's it's in regards to maybe a bridge or a tower or you know an opera. Uh, it's in regards to some some city as well. But the application won't be able to tell you if it's San Francisco, Paris, or Sydney typically, right? So using tagbox and manual tagging, you can teach the application to recognize that the first one is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, the second one is the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and the third one is the Opera in, in Sydney. In our little example here, we'll, we'll, we'll get something a little bit more funny. Uh, we'll teach the app to recognize between different types of melons, uh, between the watermelon, a cantaloupe, and a honeydew. Right? And then after the teaching, we're going to be able to provide the application with a bunch of images and ask the image to tell us if it's one of those and, and with a degree of confidence, right? Because with some of the images, it might be a little bit hard to make the difference between a cantaloupe and a honeydew. If the, the melon is not cut, they look very much alike, you know, as a, as, as a fruit. But if you cut it, one is going to be orange and one is going to be gray, right? So there's always going to be some sort of a degree of confidence uh, in a result provided. So how is this going to work with Zenko? Right? So we're going to use Zenko with, uh, in, in two different workflows here using a local you know, disk associated to Zenko. And we'll do the same with Amazon, right? just to show uh, you that it, it doesn't make a difference in the, in the code, in the, in the scripting, to do it with a local disk with Zenko, with Amazon, with Azure, with Google, and with many others. Right? By just changing the name of the bucket, we'll be able to apply the workflow into Zenko Local or Zenko Amazon. So after the, the teaching is going to be actually, you know, uploading all those different, you know, melons images to Zenko. This is going to be the, that part in here, put S3 into Zenko. And then we'll give the S3 um, link to the machine box, tag box application and ask it to teach all those different images. So the first step is going to be the set of watermelons and confidence is going to be one. The second one, cantaloupe. The third one, the energy use. This, the next step is going to be to do a check. So after the teaching has been done, we'll give an image to the application, to the machine box IO uh, tag box application, and it's going to return a JSON file with a whole bunch of metadata in there. Right? It's a fruit with that degree of confidence. It's food, it's produce, it's plant. Those are going to be the, uh, the built-in tags within the application. And it's going to return you know, a result on the custom tag that we teached as well, that we taught. Um, is this a watermelon? And if, if yes, with what degree of confidence? So you'll see then in the result at a point, it's going to give you two custom tags, maybe one cantaloupe and one hundred you with a degree of confidence. So teach, check. And one of the very cool thing as well here is that we'll be able to upload all those different uh, tags into as metadata or tags into, into Zenko. This is really, really cool. We'll see it into the, the orbit uh, GUI in, in Zenko. And then we'll be able to search that metadata, which is, which is the most important of all, right? Imagine you have tons and tons of images that you upload onto a storage somewhere. 
it'd be really cool to be able to do some sort of a automatic meta metadata tagging when you upload the image, which is the whole purpose of the demo here. And then later on to be able to search on that content and to search using uh, SQL-like uh, queries. So you'd be able to say, hey, give me all the images that have a, a, watermelon, a watermelon degree of confidence greater than, than 0 0.5, for example. And that, is, that has been recognized as a, as, a, as a food or a plant as well. We'll take a look at that in, in the demo. And it's all based on Zenko, which is, which is great. Zenko is open source today, and you can download it from uh, zenko.io and give it a try yourself, as well as Machinebox. So all that stuff that I'm going to show you right now is something that you can do yourself on your, on your laptop. All right, so let's switch to, uh, to Zenko first. Uh, in order to go a little bit faster here in the demo, the, uh, I've been doing a little bit of setup in, in, in Zenko. I am connected to an instance that you can launch on Zenko.io with uh, my email address. Um, I created two storage locations, one which is going to be a local disk associated to Zenko called us east one one And then I created an Amazon location as well. All right? uh, so we'll start with the local disk and we'll go and take a look at Amazon later on. Um, what Zenko has right now is a built-in browser as well, which is really, really cool. You can connect, you can create buckets, you can upload files and download and take a look at the metadata and add metadata tags yourself as well, as well as a search. And we'll take a look at that later on, okay? So we're going to start with the teaching first. First thing first, I'm going to launch the, uh, the Machinebox IO Tagbox application, like I said just a single Docker command to run, uh, to run the container. Here we go. In the meantime, we'll just verify that the connection to uh, the Zenko uh, um, uh, instance is gonna work here from, uh, from the terminal. So I'm, you know, I'm just using the AWS command line, uh, giving it you know, an endpoint, which is the Zenko instance uh, endpoint, and using the S3 API and asked it to do a list of the buckets that I have in Zenko already. Uh, to be able to do that, I have two uh, environment variables that are gonna be my access key and secret key to the Zenko instance. So let's just quickly test here that it's gonna be able to list the buckets. Here you go, we're ready to go, okay? So the Macbox application is ready, the Macbox, the, the Tagbox application is ready. The first thing we're going to do here is launch a script, a Python script, uh, which is gonna do the, uh, the teaching, right? So Python, Python here, and that's gonna be the name of my script. We're gonna give it the endpoint of the Zenko instance. We're gonna give it the, the, the bucket that we wanna use. And we're gonna give it the set of images that we wanna use, right? Because I've, I've got another set actually that I, that I can use uh, in regards to uh, Star Wars. And we can imagine as many sets as we want here. We're not gonna go into the greedy details of the, of the script, but what it does is it has here a whole bunch of images that are going to be uploaded to Zenko. Those images are on my computer in here, right? I've got a bunch of cantaloupe images. I've got a bunch of honeydew images and same for the watermelons, right? So we're going to upload all that to Zenko via the S3 API and do the teach. Um, so the sets, it's gonna do first a, uh, an upload here with the uh, AWS command line doing a put object and then it's gonna grant public access to each of those images so that the machinebox.io tagbox uh, application can access it. And then we're going to call the matchbox uh, application here by simply using a curl command, right? And asking it to do a teach. So very simple, just a bunch of commands. So let's do it. Let's actually teach the application to recognize you know, the different types of melons. Uh, so this is going to take a little bit here. It's going to upload all the images, grant public access, call the, uh, the machinebox.io uh, tagbox uh, application for each of those. So I'm going to cut the video at a point and come back uh, whenever uh, this, is, this is finished. So bear with me. All right, so the teaching is done. So if we go back to Zenko here, and go to the, the bucket, the Zenko.local, we have all those images that have been uh, uploaded to Zenko, right? And that have been used by the Tagbox application to be able to do you know, manual tagging for the different types of, of melons, right? Great. 
So next step, we're gonna go into the check step. So we're going to upload an image to uh, Zenko and ask the tag box to check what kind of image that is. So like uh, the, the teach, there is a Python script as well to do to run that. Uh, and we're going to use uh, either. Uh, we're gonna give it um, the path of a file here, steal the Zenko endpoint, and then ask him to do it into a specific uh, bucket. And then ask him to do a, a metadata you know, mode, and we can do either you know, using the, the tags or the metadata field. We're, for simplicity here, we're going to use the, the tags. Take a quick look at the script and what the script does. Uh, and again, nothing completely crazy. Um, what it's gonna do is upload the file to Zenko here, and then it's gonna grant public access. Same thing here, it's going to call the machine box, uh, tag box uh, applications with a curl command here, but this time asking the application to check what kind of image that is. And the rest of the, of the script here is gonna be, you know, grabbing the JSON file that is returned by the tag box application, and then parse the JSON file to be able to upload uh, you know, and, and update the metadata into, into Zenko. So we'll be able to do so by the still the AWS command, uh, SP API, and using the tagging or the metadata, uh, you know, uh, 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 operator parameter to be able to upload the, the metadata to Zenko. So let's do it. Let's do it with one image here uh, using uh, one which is called WM16. Here we go. Upload, grant public access, call the tag box, and we should see the result here coming out. So what it does, it, it's a success. It has recognized a whole bunch of you know, uh, tags into the, into the image. It's food, produce, plant, and fruit. And then it has returned some custom tags in here as well, telling you that we've recognized a watermelon with that degree of confidence, and we've recognized a honeydew with that degree of confidence. And at the end, what it does is just upload the metadata into, into Zenko. So if we go back to Zenko here and do a refresh, we should see that image called WM16, here you go, and we should see some metadata tags associated to the image, right? So food, produce, plant, fruit, watermelon, honeydew, those are the tags that we see here when we run the command, right? So what's really cool right now is that you can do search on that metadata. And to do so, you would go to the search option here into Zenko Orbit and do uh, a, a search, which is, for example, give me all the images that have a tag, um, watermelon, and it's actually case sensitive, so we have to change that, which is greater than 0 0.5, and do a search. And that's gonna return only one image right now because there's only one image associated to that. We can add another image, so let's do that. Let's actually check another image here number um, 17, which is another one, a different image. Same thing, upload, grant public access, and do, and looks like this is, image is not that great because it, the application here is, you know, so-so into recognizing the, uh, the degree, uh, the, the type of image. Let's try with another one to see if I have a better one. I'm not sure. Number, I think I've got image 18 as well. Here you go. Ah, and this one is a little bit better, right? It has recognized that this image is a watermelon with a degree of confidence, which is 0 0.87, which is actually pretty good, right? Let's take a look at those images. Uh, they're coming from the test files in here. 16, uh, 18, 18, uh, 17, and 18. They're all watermelons, but I guess we would need to do a little bit more check, a little bit more teaching with the application. So here now, if we run the same, the same search, we should have more results, right? Uh, let me check that. Why do a refresh in here? Then call local. We should have uh, more images here with uh, with some tags. Number eighteen, for example, should have a whole bunch of tags. There we go. So let's actually cancel that and let's try the, the search again. Here, tags, watermelon greater than 0.5. And you go. 
it's going to return different images now because I've got more content into, into my bucket. Okay? So teach, check, upload the metadata, and you can search on those images here into in Zenco. Okay? Now, let's do a quick switch here and do uh, apply that exact same workflow but using an Amazon bucket. Right? So what I have here in Zenco Orbit is a location, an Amazon location, which is associated to my Amazon account, associated to a bucket in Amazon called Zenco-Amazon. If we switch to the Amazon view here, here's the bucket and it should be empty. Right? So what I'm going to do here in Zenco in the browser, I'm going to create a new bucket called Zenco dash Amazon. And then here, select the location, which is going to be Amazon and create that. So if we do exactly the same thing here, right, we're going to do a, uh, a check with the, uh, the, Mac, uh, the, the machine uh, box, tech box application, but we're going to change the bucket to the Amazon bucket. So what it's going to do is upload the file to Zenco, so at the end in Amazon, and do the, uh, the, the, the tag box uh, call, and then upload also all the metadata associated to the image. Except that now, oh, here you go, we have an error here. Uh, oh yeah, let me check because I think I had, um, let's do with the, the metadata, actually I had an issue earlier, maybe there's something wrong in my code, but with the metadata, mode here in Amazon, uh, it should actually update all the different, uh, the different metadata tags, you go, to Amazon, right? So now in Zenco, in the Zenco Amazon, I should have this specific file, right? WM18.jpg. We should see the exact same file here on the Amazon side. Uh, let's do a, a refresh. Here you go. We have the bucket, we have the image. And if we take a look at the, the properties of uh, that specific file, we will see that we have all the different metadata returned by the machinebox.io tagbox application that have been uploaded to Amazon, but there's, they're present in the Zenco, on the Zenco side as well, right? We have metadata tags in here that are exactly the same as the ones here in, in Amazon. So the beauty of it here is that you could actually, you know, fit in those images to another application that is hosted in Amazon somewhere using metadata, based on metadata. This is, this is really great. And you could do the same with Azure and, and Google. And as you, as you saw, I didn't change much here into, into the command or even the script. I didn't change anything into, into the code in Python. The only thing that I changed was the, uh, the, the name of the bucket here, which is not going to, um, to a local disk, but is going to, is going to Amazon. All right, that's it for today. Uh, hope you hope you liked it.